So now that 2018 has descended upon us, we are faced with the age-old questions. What's my resolution going to be? How can I make it work? What things will hinder me from seeing it through? I am the ranting usher. Let me talk you to your seat. While some are blasé about them, these questions are generally answered with sincere, if not cockeyed, optimism. Many of us recognize the patterns we've fallen into during the previous year. Checking our phones and texting constantly, frequently eating at fast food restaurants, gorging on Christmas turkey and taking one too many slices of delicious apple pie, and smoking three packs of Marlboro Reds on a daily basis. We become determined to put an end to our wavered habits. And why shouldn't we be optimistic and determined? We have a whole year ahead of us, after all. We're going to limit ourselves to checking our phones 10 times a day as opposed to the usual 30. We're going to sign up for a membership at the local gym, work out five days a week, and finally shed those holiday pounds. We're finally going to quit smoking with Chantex. New Year's resolutions matter, because whether you like it or not, they are necessary. For a moment, imagine a world without resolutions. Imagine that they don't exist. I wonder if you can. Where would our society be if 365 days out of the year, we keep making the same mistakes over and over again? while expecting different results. We need resolutions to help us grow and evolve as human beings, as well as to shape our society in wise and prosperous ways. Unfortunately, New Year's resolutions often fail because rather than setting simple goals, such as being more positive, more romantic, and helping people, some of us dream a little too big sometimes and end up making resolutions that are bold and unrealistic. We're going to lose 50 pounds in three weeks. We're going to get promoted to CEO from middle management. We're going to accrue 30,000 followers on YouTube. It's not always obvious how unrealistic these goals are until we're in the midst of pursuing them. At some point, we realize we're trying to move mountains when we probably should be taking baby steps. But we don't like taking baby steps. No, life is too short, and we need to act now before it's too late. Rather than starting over, which would be the more sensible course of action, it is easy to become discouraged and far easier to procrastinate. Now, I'm not saying don't dream big or don't set high aspirations. Far from it. I'm merely pointing out that there are pitfalls we all succumb to when setting our goals, our resolutions in motion. If we are aware of these pitfalls, however, if we can catch ourselves at the right moment and get back on track, it's amazing the obstacles we can overcome. I will conclude this essay on a positive note. There are those among us who make New Year's resolutions and actually see them through to fruition. How do they achieve this? They achieve this because they want to, because they are self-motivated. They are our fearless leaders. So how do you feel about New Year's resolutions? Have they worked for you in the past? Are you hopeful about 2018? I'm hopeful for 2018. I'm looking forward to finishing my novel, making a career change, getting in shape, eating healthier, and helping people as often as I can. 
but be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Also click the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, share or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, have a happy new year, and I'll see you next time.